Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let's try to understand three different table types in Snowflake. Those are permanent table, transient table and temporary table. Okay. So let's first consider permanent table. Okay. So whatever tables we generally create using create table, then table name, then the schema, how we generally create the table in Snowflake, those all are permanent table. Okay. So if you see for permanent table, whether you are using standard edition for Snowflake or enterprise edition or higher version, for both of them, the syntax is familiar to us, like how we generally create, create table, table name, and then schema is defined. Okay. What are their properties? Like if you are considering Snowflake standard edition, then for permanent table, the retention period is either zero or one. Okay. Zero means we are not enabling time travel. One means I can go back in past up to one day, right? So default is one day. So what is retention period? If you want to explore in detail, you can check the link given in the description box. I have already explained about that in detail in my previous video. Okay. So coming to the next property, fail safe if you consider for permanent table in standard edition, it is seven days. Anyway, I have told you, right, while explaining fail safe that how much day you want to enable fail safe that actually we cannot configure. That is always seven days for permanent table. So here in standard edition for permanent table also, we are having seven days for fail safe. Okay. And then persistence, like up to what time this particular table we can access, the developers can access. The answer is very simple until explicitly we are dropping that. Okay. That is, it is not like it is accessible only within a session, on, only within a connection like that. Okay. Until we are dropping that, we all can access and use it. Okay. Same like for enterprise edition or higher version in case of permanent table, the properties are almost same. Only difference is for enterprise edition and higher version, the retention period you can configure either zero or up to 90 days, any day, 45 days, 43 days, anything in between 0 to 90 days, you can configure. That's the only difference in between enterprise edition or higher edition permanent table and standard edition permanent table. Okay. And rest all are same. Now coming to next table type, which is transient table. So for this particular transient table, the syntax is basically create transient table, then table name, then schema, how we generally define. Okay. Only thing is for transient table, you have to use the transient keyword. Okay, that's all, right? What is the retention period? So for transient table, whatever edition you are using, either standard edition or enterprise edition or higher version, whatever, always the retention period is either zero or one. If you are keeping zero, that means you cannot do time travel or else if you want to go back to past, maximum you can go up to one day only. That's why I have written retention period as zero or one. That's all you can do for transient table with respect to time travel, okay? Coming to fail safe, okay? For transient table, fail safe is zero days. So when I'm saying fail safe is zero day, that means what? That means data will not go to fail safe zone as automatic backup, okay? Like in case of permanent table, whenever retention period is over, as part of automatic backup, the data or the snapshot goes to fail safe zone, right? But for transient table, if suppose retention period is over, you cannot get back data it will not go the fail safe zone automatically you cannot make that data reach to fail safe zone for transient table okay as simple as that and coming to persistence again this is same like for permanent table that is until we are explicitly dropping that table we can access that okay so only thing you have to remember with respect to transient table is we have to use the transient keyword then retention period is zero or one only not 90 days or 45 days anything not more than one Okay, and fail safe is zero days. Okay, right. So that means once retention period is over, there is no way to get the data, right? Then the last table type is temporary table. So here in the syntax, you have to use temporary keyword. Okay, for this particular temporary table also, the retention period is zero or one. Okay, default is one. And one thing you have to remember for fail safe, obviously, it is zero day in case of temporary table. And the special characteristics about temporary table is within your session or within your worksheet only, you can access this table. That is for the temporary table, the access area is within that particular session. In any other session, any developer or admin cannot access that particular temporary table. Okay. So I will explain you via lab, then it will be much more clear to you. 
for the time being i hope you got some idea about different table types and like the same way we can create different database and schema also like we can create transient database or transient schema also right not temporary database or temporary schema so basically database you can create in two ways in snowflake one is permanent database one is transient database similarly schema also you can create in two ways one is permanent schema one is transient schema okay right and another thing you have to keep in mind that the tables inside the database or schema will be having the same type as of our database or schema okay like for example if i am creating a schema with type transient then inside this particular schema whatever table will be created that will be automatically transient okay all the tables will be automatically transient inside transient schema suppose i am creating a database of transient type then whatever schema will be creating that will be automatically of transient type okay so that basically type it will follow from its parent level like database is the grandparent you can consider then schema is parent and table is basically child so they will follow their parents nature right as simple as that i will show you in the lab it will be much more clear and another point is there that is for temporary table there will be no naming conflict if you are creating a temporary table with same name where already there is a table existing with permanent type or transient type okay suppose you are creating a temporary table with table name a and in that particular schema in that database there is already a permanent table or a transient table existing with the table name a then also there will be no naming conflict okay only thing will be happening that if this is basically our permanent table or transient table this will be hidden for that session okay if i do select star from a i will able to access only the data from temporary table okay there is other tables apart from the temporary table will effectively hidden for that particular session if you are reading the same table from some other session then you can access the data from the permanent table or transient table actually because in that particular session the temporary table will not exist right so let me show you now without any further delay in snowflake console so here first thing what i told you that is we can create tables in three ways temporary table transient table or permanent table and we can create two different kind of database or schema one is transient or permanent okay right so first here i am dropping two database if it exists okay and all these codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section also no need to worry so here it is done if i refresh currently here nothing is there now here what i am doing i am basically creating a database okay with the name demo y so if i just refresh here you will see the database is created and point to be noted here i have used the transient keyword so basically this particular database is transient in nature okay now if i do show databases here currently you can see we are having three different database okay so here you can see the database just now what we created demo yt for that in options the transient what is coming from there you can understand that okay this particular database is in transient nature okay right now if i want i can do describe database demo yt and here i will get all the schemas inside this particular database and by default we are having information schema which is containing all the metadata and public schema where if we want we can create all the tables view stored procedure user defined function etc so first let me use this particular database what we just now created okay and now here what i will do i will create a schema inside it right now just now i told you that if we are having a parent and inside that we are creating a child then the child will be following the property of parent right so here we are creating a schema employee now the database is of transient nature so this particular schema will obviously be transient nature okay so if i just execute here see schema is created right so now if i do show schema here you will see that inside this particular database we are having basically three schema one is information schema public schema and employee schema just now what we created here you can see when i am executing show schema public schema employee schema both are transient in nature information schema is anyway managed by snowflake and it is used for storing all the metadata so ignore that apart from that all these schemas are of transient in nature because our database is basically transient in nature right that's the significance right so i hope you are getting it now here i can use this particular schema which is transient in nature so we, we are having transient database demo yt inside that we are having transient schema employee okay right 
Now here what I am doing, here I am creating a table. How we generally create that is table name and then here we are mentioning this schema. Okay. Now here we have created. Now let me execute show tables. Okay. So inside this particular employee schema, currently only one table is there just now what we created. Okay. So here you can see if I just over my mouse on top of that particular table, here you will see that it is coming in the table name. Here in the bracket, transient is coming. Okay. Even here you can see if you just execute show tables, here you will see in the kind, here it is printing transient. Okay. And here retention period, obviously, it will be one, not more than that. Right. Okay. So I hope you understood one thing that here we have created one transient database inside that whatever schema or tables we are creating that will be transient in nature. Right. So I hope this part is clear to you. I am dropping this particular database. Okay. Right. Now let me go to one permanent database creation. So here I am creating a permanent database. Okay. So let me just refresh. Here you will see by default information schema and public schema is there. So because I have created here permanent database, these objects or schemas, whatever I will be creating inside this particular database by default it will be permanent in nature until we are explicitly specified. Right. So if I execute show database, here you will see that demo yt frame whatever we created here in the options nothing is showing that means this is a permanent type okay now let me use this particular database and here i am creating a schema okay here i am not mentioning anything that means obviously this will be a permanent schema right if i refresh here you will see this schema is created and if i execute show schema here you can see an option nothing is coming for the employee schema that means it is a permanent schema i will use this particular schema now okay and inside this particular schema, I am creating a table. Here I am not mentioning any keyword. So obviously this table will be in permanent nature. Okay. So here I am inserting two data for employee. One is having employee ID 520. One is having employee ID 1200. Right. And here I can do select start from employee. Whatever normal activity we do. Now let me execute sort tables. So here if I do sort tables, currently we are having only the table employees inside the employee schema okay so the database is permanent database the schema is permanent this table what i have created that is also permanent in nature by default because we are not explicitly mentioning anything okay right so if i do so schema here you can see that here all the schemas as of now inside this particular database are having permanent type okay right now here what i am going to do here i am going to create a transient schema inside this particular permanent database okay so earlier we have seen when we created a transient database then by default this schema inside that is transient in nature but now we are trying to create a transient schema inside a permanent database right so we have to explicitly mention the keyword transient okay so i am creating a transient schema with the name employee 2 now if i do show schema here you will see for this schema employee 2 in the options here it is coming as transient that means this schema is transient so by default whatever table we will be creating inside this particular schema will be also transient in nature like here i am creating a table okay inside this particular employee 2 okay and here if i do so tables here you will see the table is having transient nature because this schema itself is transient right okay right so now what i will do i, I will just execute source schema again so currently we are having one transient schema, one permanent schema inside our permanent database, right? Now, what I will do, I will use this particular permanent schema. So, let me execute the permanent schema. Now, suppose inside this permanent schema, I want to create a transient table. So, for that, we need to use transient keyword, right? Because inside permanent schema, by default, whatever table will be created, that will be permanent in nature. So, inside permanent schema, if I want to create a transient table, so we have to use transient keyword. I can execute that. And here if I execute show tables, here you will see that inside the permanent schema employee, currently we are having two different tables. One is employees, one is employees transient. Okay. One is basically normal permanent table, one is transient table. Right. So from this particular show tables, we are understanding the table type. Not only that, here if you refresh and if you go inside this particular permanent schema, here you will see different symbols are there. So for permanent table, this is the symbol. For transient table, this is the symbol. Okay. Even if you hover your mouse over the tables here, you can see in case of transient table, here in the table, it is coming within the parenthesis that this is a transient nature table. And in the permanent table, it is not coming anything. Okay. Right. So like that, we knew 
how to create transient database transient schema permanent database permanent schema transient table right all these things now i can execute show tables again basically this is the current state now suppose i want to create a temporary table okay let's see how to do that so first thing have a clear idea we cannot create temporary database or temporary schema okay at any situation we can create temporary table only and i have told you that temporary table only exists within our session or within our worksheet we will see that okay so here i am creating a temporary table with the name employee temp okay and here i am inserting some data in it perfect now if i do select start from employee like normal table we can query everything if i do so tables currently inside this particular permanent schema employee we are having some permanent table some temporary table and transient table also okay right different types of tables are available now the same table okay which is present inside employee schema in the demo yt perm database that one let's try to query from another worksheet okay so in snowflake each worksheet are distinct sessions so currently we created a temporary table in this session now i will go to another worksheet okay and here i will use this particular database and schema and what i will do i will try to do a select query on my temporary table see here object employee temp does not exist or not authorized why it is happening because this is a temporary table right that's what i have written here the temporary table persistence is only within your session or within your worksheet okay that's the important point i hope you are getting it right so temporary table is useful suppose you want to do some kind of transformation and then the result set you are getting then you are using that particular result set for some other activity and then you don't require that particular table then in those kind of situation you can use temporary table okay right so currently inside this particular employee permanent schema we are having some permanent table some temporary table and some transient table okay now the permanent table is having the name employees right within this same session i am creating a temporary table having the name employees okay so by default you might think that okay already inside this particular schema i am having a table which is permanent in nature which is having the name employees if i am creating a table with the same name i should be having conflict in the name and i should not be getting the data right but that is not the fact i told you right that in case of temporary table there will be no conflict in naming with permanent table or transient table only thing what will happen that other tables with same name will be hidden inside that particular session so like before executing the create table command if i just do select star from employees here currently i am getting the data from the permanent table which is actually having the data okay now i am creating a temporary table with the same name okay now here i am doing select start from employees i will be getting no data because this is a temporary table what we created right within this session this temporary table will be referred instead of the permanent table but in other worksheet okay if i just do select start from employees there the temporary table does not exist there the permanent table will be referred and inside the permanent table whatever data is there that only will be created as simple as that okay that is you can remember for temporary table there will be no naming conflict with permanent table or transient table other tables will be effectively hidden right as simple as that and now with respect to architecture aspect or data engineering aspect why we need different different kinds of table you need to understand the importance of cost whenever we are having fail safe for that we are paying to snowflake right because fail safe is nothing but using the storage cost okay so if you don't require fail safe safety then you can use transient table that's the importance that way you can save the fail safe cost and if you just want to create a table for some transformation for storing some data for temporary timing then you can use temporary table that is basically more efficient architecture okay right and for production system for production data important data you should always go with permanent table okay right so i hope you understood this different kind of table formats if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you